All right, the basics of designing a house. So a lot of times when we're talking about designing a house, we're talking about a floor plan. So we're planning this house and how it's actually going to be built, okay? Um, but you can see the rooms, you can see some symbols that you might actually understand. So like this little piece right here, this is the stairs, right? You can kind of understand some basics of this, all right? Um, I want to talk to you about some basic houses that actually exist in the United States. Um, obviously, you can kind of guess, maybe made of wood logs, impermanent, simple, usually built in the woods, a cabin, okay? A lot of people have cabins, mostly rich people, okay? Um, <laughs> but a cabin is usually pretty small. It's really, um, like, everything's kind of basic. You don't have anything that's super fancy. Uh, it's kind of rough. Think of, like, hunting cabins, that kind of thing. Um, there's usually a lot of sleeping spaces for people. So if you can see, you can see a lot of beds in here. Maybe you'd want to build a cabin. From the outside, this is what it would look like. Something I feel like that's pretty fancy for Wisconsin, but <laughs> you never know. Okay, here's another one. Um, I don't know if you guessed this one. This is all one level. It's small. It's usually built near like a lake or an ocean. It's not necessarily a cabin, but a cottage, okay? There's a ton of these by the ocean. So if you've ever been to the coast, yes, this is a classic cottage, okay? Usually there's a lot of porch going on so that people can go outside and like look at the ocean. Um, there's usually a lot of space for like entertaining and having parties and things like that because it's a nice space to go, okay? Here's a nice picture of a cottage. Do, do, do. Very cute. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm not sure if you'd recognize this one. They're usually very square. We have a few of these in town, actually. They're usually in the suburbs, so it's not necessarily in the city. And usually has exactly four rooms that are kind of spaced out all over in the house. Okay. It's called an American four square. This is a classic house that um, was built like in the 1920s, 1930s. So they usually look a little bit fancier. Here's a picture of one. Okay. You could actually order this from a magazine, okay? The Sears Roebuck magazine, you could order a house and it would ship to your home and you would literally just like, you'd build a house. It's ridiculous, okay? But this was one of the designs that they would actually sell. Pretty cool. Ooh, this one's really rare. I don't know if you guys know this one. So it has like two separate sections. So you can see like there's one piece on one side and there's another piece on the other side. And it's usually built in the south, okay? So if you've ever been down there, it's called a dog trot. And the reason it's called that is because it has this like open porch situation right in the middle of the house. So it's literally separated by like two different pieces. And then in the middle, you've got like a porch and a porch going on, which is kind of weird, right? The reason for this, it helps to get air moving through. So the south is really hot. I don't know if you guys have ever been down there, but it's nasty, okay? Really, really warm, really humid all the time. That's the purpose of a dog trot house, okay? Here's what one looks like. It's kind of cool. All right, you probably recognize this. It's really small, okay? Bed is, like, taking up most of the room. One floor plan. It's usually repeated throughout the entire building. It's very inexpensive. It's cheap, okay? And it usually only fits one or two people. Apartments, okay? If you wanted to build an apartment, I think that'd be pretty cool because sometimes you can get really awesome views but i mean you have to kind of imagine the views so i don't know if you're interested in making an apartment necessarily okay basic apartments are usually in a building and it like i said it's repeated over and over again throughout the entire building so everybody kind of gets the same thing okay so here's some basic things that i want you guys to include in your floor plan so when you understand like you're making a door i want you to show how that door actually swings open okay and use an arrow to actually draw how that door would swing open You'd be surprised. Some people, <laughs> when they're building a house, they will have that door swing open and all of a sudden you're like, oh, you can't get to the toilet. This happens in bathrooms a lot, I feel like. Okay? As somebody who's worked construction a lot in my life, like <laughs> this happens more than you think. So make sure you indicate that on your floor plan. Okay. Also, if you're making some like generic shapes of what you, what you want, make sure you put this in your key. So on the side, make sure you add a key and actually tell us what each thing is. So if your bedroom is outlined in red, if your kitchen is blue, art studio, I'm definitely having an art studio, is green, make sure that you put these things in the key, okay? Um, if you have like the tree, actually fill it in with green so we know that it's actually a tree, okay? You can do this. Have a great time designing your house. Um, it might take more than once to figure it out, okay? All right, have a great time, you guys.